Hello, I'm Zardis. Grab some coffee, sit back, and chill as we learn about Plop the Growables. That's what I'm teaching you about today. Uh, I wanted to take a quick look and uh, show you the mod a little bit. So one thing, let's go through the options. Well, 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 let me talk first about what we can do, actually. So if you have the developer UI enabled, and if you go through Skive, you can easily click it to do it. Otherwise, if you want to do it through launch options in Steam, then you can put in the launch option dash developer, all of that lowercase, and then mode with a capital M. Uh, but that will help you get the developer mode and you can Google that and it will show you how to do it as well. But uh, what I want to do, once you have developer mode, you can hit home and it will show you all the objects in the game that you can add and do things. And you can then click on a growable and plop it like that. So we have added a growable and you can click on it and people are moving in right away. And that is that. But let's talk about the options for the mod really quick. So first of all, for non-plopped buildings, ones that require zoning that have come in just through zoning, you can have them require zoning still. So I'm going to do that and go ahead and hit that and then do, um, I don't know that it will do it for everybody, but I, I think that will automatically do it for any zone or, uh, yeah, zoned buildings. But anyway, then for plopped buildings, you can lock the level when you plop them so that it will automatically lock it to whatever level it is that you are manually placing. You can disable abandonment so that they can they never become abandoned at all and you can disable all building level changes now what's different about the lock building levels and the level changes is that this one keeps their appearance and uh, prevents them from changing levels at uh, uh, like every actually that change uh, like does it for everybody and then this one uh, changes the, the only when you're placing them. So those are what you can do. Then, like I said, you can come in and you can use the developer mode to go ahead and get your buildings. You can come in with the uh, growables. You've got residential, commercial, industry, and office and if you have the asset pets like i do then there is a ton of things you can pick like here is from um i can't remember which pack that is but that does have a nice little building there and then you can get like put it next to that and you can do all kinds of work here it is if you remember from the original city skylines it is very similar to the plot the growables mod in that game as well but you can see now we've got all these growables right here and they should be set so that they it does not need to check the zoning at all and it will automatically go in there if i set it to lock it would uh, lock all of them and that's the other thing is that this mod allows you to lock the building level of any zoned building individually as well so if you have a building that you really like and you don't want it to change you can just go in and change it like that for one of them and of course if you don't want to use the developer mode you can use find it which is very similar to what it was in the original as well but i'll do that in a different video it is not required for this you can do it with the uh, developer mode right through here but that's it for today i hope you like this video i hope you found it useful be sure to click on the video on the screen it should be for my city skylines beginner's guide thanks for watching and i will catch you next time take care